So my journey through centuries continues. Today I am visiting a few ancient necropolises or cemeteries to see some interesting gravestones. The first stop is Radimlya near Stolets in eastern Herzegovina. It's one of the 22 uh, necropolis of Stetsi in Bosnia and Herzegovina and this one is absolutely the best preserved one. Uh, so there are approximately 63 tombstones here so it's a mixture of chests and pillars and gravestones and all these date from approximately 12th century until 16th century when this practice was stopped when the Ottoman Empire took over this area it was declared uh, by UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site in 2016 there are a couple in Croatia a couple in Montenegro and Serbia but most of these uh, locations are in Bosnia and Herzegovina so wonderfully preserved Sterzi, it's called so-called Sterzi gravestones. It's almost like a group of people are hunting a deer. So these standing tombstones are all made of local limestone, which is quite soft. So carvings deteriorated over time, but many images are still visible. If you come to explore this area, don't miss an opportunity to visit a beautiful medieval town of Stolac. It's amazing how the town, architecture and buildings are integrated in the surrounding nature and it feels like the whole town is floating on the river. So only 20 minutes away from Stolac, there's another necropolis that you don't want to miss. This place is just idyllic. So beautiful. The historians determined that people buried under these tombstones were early Slavs and local elite in population. The carvings are showing images of people, things and customs that were important to deceased. Really see the outline of the knife. My sword with a shield. Another sword with a shield. These were warriors for sure. This area is so rich in history, but when you visit these places, don't ignore the beautiful and unspoiled nature that it's all around these important historical sites. There's a good reason why Illyrians, Greeks, Romans, Ottomans, and all the other nations fought to control this resource-rich land. Next destination is the oldest museum in the country, Archaeological Museum Humats near Ljubuški, established in 1884. Many of the artifacts displayed are found locally, specifically near Roman military complex Bigeste, established in the 1st century AD during the reign of Roman Emperor Tiberius. There are also many other items used by Illyrian people like this wonderfully preserved bronze helmet, weapons and coins. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll join me next time 
We'll explore Roman military complex, we'll visit ancient Greek trading post and city Narona, Roman temple dedicated to Emperor Augustus, and conclude this journey by exploring Salona, that became ancient capital of Roman province of Dalmatia and the birthplace of Emperor Diocletian.